Some people say we are what we eat. Well, let me tell you the story of a tavern owner, of a succulent stew, and of a dark secret. Originally from the mountainous region in northern Italy, one day Biasio decided to try his luck in the city of Venice. His family had taught him how to butcher animals and to make delicious sausages and salamis, and he was confident he could make it in the cosmopolitan city of Venice. We are in the 1500s, and the city was a thriving environment where cultures from all over the world blended. Biasio successfully opened a tavern, which soon became famous for the fine food it served. Customers enjoyed in particular a stew made with marinated meat, sausage, herbs and wine. This stew is what made Biasio's restaurant famous. People came from all over the city to savor such a delicacy and the tavern was so busy that you could hardly find a seat. One day, at around lunchtime, a boatman entered the tavern and ordered a plate of Biasio's stew. The piping hot food was served and the boatman started enjoying his dish. All of a sudden, he bit on something hard. Probably a bone, I thought. And a bone it was. A little finger with the fingernail still attached to it. Horrified beyond words, the boatman immediately called the authorities and reported the fact. That evening, Biasio was arrested. Upon interrogation, he confessed to using little children he found wandering the streets, whom he personally butchered and marinated as the main ingredient for his renowned stew. He would select younger children so as to ensure a supply of tender meat. Documents from the Marciano Library of Venice report that on the 18th of November 1503, Biasio was dragged through the streets, from the prison to his tavern, where both his hands were chopped off. He was then taken to St. Mark's Square, in the centre of the city, where he was beheaded, and his body was quartered and displayed. His tavern and his home were pulled down only to reveal a collection of little bones and skulls from the children that he had killed for his stew and served to his customers. The place where this tavern once stood is now known as Riva di Biasio, or Biasio's Bank. It is believed that in the cold Venetian foggy nights, his shadow still wanders the narrow alleys of Venice, an axe in hand looking for the special ingredient to add to his delicious stew. If you like this video, why not subscribe to the channel for more creepy ghost stories.